and you're the best to never do it, then finally did it. J Electronica dropped a new album. I'm going to review it for you next. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers back in the building. Thank you for clicking this video. As you see on the screen, J Electronica has dropped a brand new album. Only J Electronica could pull this off in the middle of a pandemic. It's just weird. He was supposed to do some listening sessions around the country. Those got canceled just like everything else has been canceled. NBA is gone, MLB, hockey. NCAA tournament, people are missing mad money, but J Electronica is trending because finally, after all these years, I think 10 or more, he has finally given us what we will call, what he has called a full length debut album. So let's go ahead and get right into it. But before we do that, let me say peace to everybody once again that clicked the video. You've been giving me some support over the past couple of weeks. Matt Sunsford was popping, Glenn Guilford with the advice. Both of y'all, uh, Marcus Garneau, came back, showed back up in the comment section. I thought the boy was in witness protection. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time clicking a video on this channel, we do reactions, urban culture news. We follow what's going on out here in the streets, you heard? And we grind into 100 subscribers. I'm almost there. I think I'm at 91 right now. Let's go ahead and click that subscribe button. Get me up to 100 so I can get that custom URL that none of y'all is never going to type into the top of YouTube, but it's going to make me feel good. Y'all was listening to me last video I put out here. I told y'all to continue to watch the video, play it to the end. And y'all did that for me. Keep playing these videos to the end. Even if you're in the shower, pause, eating dinner, if you need to turn the volume down for some reason, just let the whole video play. So show some support to your boy so this channel could really get popping youtube follows the algorithms and what's going on and how you react to it if you click off too early you're hurting my channel you want us to be strong let's grow together hit the like comment and all that good stuff and turn on your post notifications because your name might get shouted out in this channel and your request for review or reaction just might pop up and you don't want to miss that. Wash your hands. Coronavirus is something very serious. I got the weekend off. I'm in the crib. Staying in the crib. You should do the same thing. Uh, let's knock this thing down. Make sure everybody get healthy. Check on your loved ones. Keep your kids out of populated areas. And uh, holla at your moms and your pops. Call them up. See how they doing and make sure they are staying healthy. Let's get right into this review though. J Electronica has dropped a written testimony, a very apropos title for the God. And I've been a J Electronica fan for a very long time. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't no bigger J Electronica fan on the planet than the dude you are looking at right now. Uh, from exhibit A, B, C, Shiny Suit Theory, the mixtape quote unquote album, what the fuck is a J Electronica, which is actually a classic joint. I've been riding around trying to get people to pay attention to this dude for a long time. And most of the time I get the same reaction I get when I try to turn dudes on to Nas or when Silk the Chakra and them dudes was hitting it very heavy and I was trying to turn folks on to reasonable doubt. They said it's boring. Don't talk to those people anymore. They are not my friends. Ain't your friends either. Idiots. So of course, when the announcement came down that he was about to drop this thing, he said he recorded in the 40 days or some shit. The album was about to drop. I didn't believe it. Just like you didn't believe it. But lo and behold, he dropped it. And so I had to bring this to you. Let's get right into, I'm not going to do every single track on this. I'm just going to give you my overall feeling about the album. I'm looking at notes right now. Sue me. Let's, let's, the first, uh, the first song on this album. Uh, it's just the intro, got the Minister Louis Farrakhan on it. We're not going to get into the politics right now, but it's a message about the strength of the black man setting the tone for what's to come on this album. The music is, is, is very beautiful and it reminds you that Jay Electronica presents art. This is what he does. This is not just music. So if you come into this, if you're a new listener, if you're just now hearing about Jay Electronica and you expected something that's just music, you came to the wrong place. It's an art piece. And that's what the dude puts out consistently. Get your mind focused. Hey, yo, shiny suit theories on this album. A lot of y'all that's J Electronica fans know exactly what Shiny Suit Theory is. If you don't, right after this video is over, go click Shiny Suit Theory, listen to it eight times a repeat, get nice, blaze up, and put in the comment section what you feel about it if it's your first experience with J Electronica. But Shiny Suit Theory is on here, that's all I gotta say, it's hot. 
Right after the intro, we get a song called Ghost of Soldier Slim. Jay-Z got the first verse on it, and he is nasty on here. Like, he never lost a step. I was reading comment section about this album dropping, and people was talking about, oh, I listened to it. The beats is whacking all this other kind of shit. You got to understand, this is not meant to numb you with 808s and shit. It's not even meant for you to really focus on the beats. This is a doctoral lesson on hip-hop and lyricism. That's what the fuck this is. It's a college course. This is meant to educate you on the state of hip hop, lyricism, and your own existence. Think about it. The beat flip on here was crazy. That's all I'm gonna say, I'm moving on. Never ending story, I just gotta talk about this. Reading from my notes right here, the lyrics are flames, and this reminds you of the reason why you listening to J Electronica in the first place. If you're a J Electronica fan, you know what I just got done saying. So I'm about to read some lyrics from this joint right off my phone. Unprofessional as fuck, but let's go. His uptown smile was gold like Frankie Beverly Day. His favorite song from Prince was not Raspberry Beret. It was sometimes it snows in April. He was brought up by the faithful in the cage of every unclean bird, ungrateful and hateful. The legend of the clandestine reverend from the bricks with the master's grip to pull the sleeping giant out of the ditch. And I ain't even have to wiggle my nose like bewitched. I just shift up the six, convert the V4 to a broomstick. That went over a lot of y'all head right now and y'all just stopped the video and you went on to some other bullshit that's on YouTube. Good fucking riddance. Now Jay-Z got a verse on this one as well, talking about the strength of the black man. I don't know how I feel about Jay on this cut with Jay Electronica. I should say, I don't know about Hove on this track with Jay Electronica. Spitting basically Jay Electronica style. He getting deep on this album. You hear Jay-Z a lot. Number one, why the fuck is Jay-Z on so many songs on this album? I don't really like that. Even though I like some of the verses that Jay-Z dropped. Why is you all over this man's debut project? What's going on here? And why are you doing his style like that? Why are you talking so much Allah on here? And talking about the strength of the black man and how we was born perfect and all this other kind of stuff. Bruh, Jay-Z is snake. He snake Jazzo. I think they kicking it again. Pause. You know he, he snaked the hell out of Dame. Did he snake Sauce Money? Don't forget Dame was the one that believed in Kanye West. And Jay-Z came out and stole it. Just like he stole the record label and stole the clothing line. So don't miss me with all that powerful black man talk, Jay. Even though the lyrics was kind of fire. Morally speaking, your lyrics don't match up with your actions, son. Let's keep it real. Hey, yo, Shiny Suit Theory's on this album. A lot of y'all that's Jay Electronica fans know exactly what Shiny Suit Theory is. If you don't, right after this video is over, go click Shiny Suit Theory, listen to it eight times on repeat, get nice, blaze up, and put in the comment section what you feel about it if it's your first experience with Jay Electronica. But Shiny Suit Theory's on here, that's all I gotta say, it's hot. As I continue to listen to this album, the vibe that I'm getting, and this is what I should have recognized about Jay a long time ago. First of all, we all know Jay Electronica really don't give a fuck. If he did, he'd have been hungry and thirsty and dropped this shit a long time ago. But guess what? When I'm listening to, to this album, I'm getting the vibe that this dude is the opposite of thirsty. He unbothered. He laying back on these lyrics like he know he the best. And let me say right now, top 10, Dead or Alive, J. Alec is in that category. Good fuck, what nobody say about the output, how many albums he done had, how many records he done sold. Lyrically speaking, the acumen is at the very highest level and he makes an argument for best lyricists of all time. Now let's throw Black Thought's name into that conversation too while we at it. You can go ahead and put Eminem down at number nine and Jay-Z at number fuck eight. 11. Nas is in the top three. But every time I hear Jay Electronica, no matter how much he frustrates me, no matter how much he frustrates you, when he get into that pocket, when he get into that zone, you ever heard Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? Have you ever listened to that? You can't argue with me about whether or not he should be in the argument for top lyricists of all time if you haven't listened to Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Stop arguing with me if you ain't heard that joke. He got a song on this album called Fruits. Let me read this. Fruits of the Spirit. That's flames. I done put four stars on the page next to this. I heard it one time, but when I heard it, I put four stars next to it. It's one verse. One minute, 35 seconds. Listen to it. Quit playing with me. It's a brilliant doctoral lesson. I'm just reading it straight off the notes right here. Let's get to it. Ezekiel's Wheel. So beautiful. There's a female on there singing at the beginning. Some ethereal type shit. You get used to this type of thing if you listen to a lot of J Electronica, just randomly some lady with a beautiful voice on here with a beautiful melody. I'm reading, I'm reading right now. He's so incredible on this is what I wrote on the paper. I could listen to this song all day. It's how good it is. 
And the last song is a acronym A P I D T A. Whole sound like he on LSD on this. Is he mumbling? Did somebody shoot this dude up with Thor's? I don't know what he doing on here. And I really wish he would have let J Electronica shine on his own on this project. Why is you jumping into this right now? You got enough going on. You know what I mean? You should have brought Colin Kaepernick out on stage at the Super Bowl. You missed the opportunity. So what do I think about this album overall? And do I recommend it? Let me put it to you like this. Is this a classic J Electronica album? Is this album a classic? I can't really tell you that. Because when you listen to J Electronica, you had to listen to listen to his shit like five, six, 12 times before you could come to a solid conclusion on it. So right now I'm saying, no, it's not a classic. I hate to say that because I love this dude, sincerely. What the fuck is the J Electronica, the mixtape? That was better than this, in my opinion. On the other hand, it is a classic. Because he got bars on here that nobody's ever gonna be better than. Not every single bar, but damn near all of them is. Shit that no other rapper can do. And just because he did that, just because he came out from underground and blessed us with some new shit, a cohesive project, something that somebody put a little bit of money behind and decided to promote it, and he's rapping on it, it for me, that's a classic. It ain't a classic in the traditional sense of a classic that every song is a banger and quit worrying about whether or not these beats is gonna knock in your car because they not. Some of these beats don't even sound mixed. I don't give a fuck. That's the whole point, I believe. I mean, you got Jay-Z in there with you. You got all these money people. You got Rock Nation all up in. You know he can get any kind of beat he want. You know he can get any kind of mix he needs. But he chose to give it to you raw. It's not about the beats on this album, man. It's about what this dude is saying. So if you're not ready to sit back, listen, and learn, to dwell get everybody out your face man tell your girl go do something tell your kids go play basketball in the yard get in a room by yourself listen to this album dwell on it are you a real hip-hop fan do you know what that is do you like hip-hop for the lyrics because really it's about the wordplay out here and if that's your definition of real hip-hop extraordinary wordplay which is my definition of real hip-hop and my subscribers my family that's what we on right now so study this, live with it. The stuff you used to listen to J Electronica for, let's go back to that zone. Let's do this for about a week and don't do nothing else but just bump this every time you get a free moment and concentrate on this elevated art form that this dude done brought to you. This education, this incomparable product that J Electronica has dropped. He could have dropped the whole thing with no beats on it. It would still be flames. I do recommend it. I got a list of shit coming up. My list is super, super long. I wish I could show it to you right now. It's on a piece of paper. Reactions like this stacked up. Mike Power Show stacked up like this. I got a review coming up very fucking shortly. And maybe only one or two of my subscribers even know what that is. If you read the comment section, you're going to find out. But most of y'all probably won't, which is fine. We busy. We got lives. But I got a review coming up for y'all and a recommendation coming up that's going to blow your mind. Real talk. So once again, I do recommend this J Electronica album, a written testimony, despite the fact that Jay-Z tried to hijack the motherfucker. And if you got to fast forward past Jay-Z's verse sometimes, do that shit and rewind J Electronica every single chance you get. Thank you for clicking this video, y'all. Hey, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.